Hey guys, this is Paul from Smart Easy DIY. Today I wanted to shoot a quick video and talk to you about doing the soffit and fascia on the pole barn house. You can see here that the siding and everything is done in this scene here, but I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about the soffit and fascia. I had some camera problems when I was doing the soffit and fascia, so I couldn't really document the whole thing. And you'll see a little bit later in the video, I kind of talk about cutting the soffit and all that. I used a vented soffit, it's a forest green. Well, it's hunter green or forest green, I can't remember which, but it's a dark green and it all depends on what your local place carries. This was made by a local place that also does the roofing and stuff, so I got everything to match. So this might not be the best corner to show you, but I'll show you a little bit what I did here. So you can see on the bottom part there, like after I installed the F-channel and stuff, which I'll show you a little later in the video. So what I did there, the way I decided to do it is I decided to stop the one running along there when it comes over here to this end. I decided to stop it there and then put a little piece of flashing, green flashing, on the side there, up there behind that siding. I don't know if you can see it, but I did that to finish it off. And then I ran the soffit coming down in there, and then the fascia that goes along there, I just bent it a little bit. I just tweaked it a little bit so it would pull it tight. So I don't know if you can kind of see, see that. So it's pretty seamless. It looks pretty good, I think, but... So yeah, some people when they're doing the soffit, they run it all the way out, this bottom one, they run it all the way out, and then they finish on the back side of it, which I'll try to find a picture that I can include in this video to show you what I mean. So you can do it either way, whichever way you want to do it. I just like this, it's simple, it's straight, clean, and especially with doing a pole barn house, this is just the way I chose to go. So these are the pieces of soffit that I'm cutting. This is dark green, like I said, it matches the roof. It depends on your type of soffit, how it works, but I'll show you how my type works. But so what I do typically is turn the sheet upside down and I mark it out at the lengths that you need. And what I do usually is once I get a mark, I make a pencil line with this one foot square here. It works really good, it reaches almost the whole way. Then on this part in particular, there's one side where you have to start it with the snips because it has like an extra fold there. You have to start it with the snips, and then I use this Malco Turbo Shears right here. I really like this thing. I made a video about it. It's one of the first ones on my channel if you want to check it out. I'll link to it in this video and below the video as well. It shows that thing in action. This thing works really well for going right over that. It just doesn't like this very end right here that I have to start with the snips. Anyways, that's how I cut my soffit to length with this steel soffit. Like with vinyl soffit, you can usually use like a chop saw with a fine tooth blade in it, put in backwards and it'll cut vinyl soffit, but it won't work so good for cutting this metal soffit. So you can see on this soffit how it has this on one side and this on the other. So this one just slides inside this one. So that shows you how you just slide one into the other. So I had to end up putting a half inch strip on my fascia here, as you can see, to bring that down. Then I use a square, a big rafter square, an L square, and just put it against the building and put my block in there by the rafter tail and then I put one in between as well just to kind of span the distance and it actually works really well because I can put my F channel right up against that when I go to put these in as you can see there so that's my F channel that I'm putting in to hold the soffit so I put the F channel on first against the building which I'll show you and then I just put all the soffit on there and they just lock into each other and then what I do typically is put a roofing nail in where it's going to get hidden by the fascia and then you get that on and then that's how you do your soffit so I'll just show you another corner since we're always talking in one corner here this is just to show you an opposite corner so you kind of get an idea there alright guys well I hope you enjoyed this video if it was helpful to you give it a thumbs up and be on the lookout for videos coming up about doing the siding and stuff alright guys thanks for watching take care